hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time coming across my channel do well to subscribe to my youtube channel and if uh, you're a returning subscriber please do well to um uh enjoy the video yeah so in this video i'll be telling you five important documents that you need uh, to win a phd studentship or uh, as we call it back in nigeria scholarship okay there are five important documents that you cannot do without if you don't have these documents uh, i don't think you, you started you're just joking okay five important documents you, you should you should have before you can win a phd studentship as you can see from my previous videos i have a uh, i'm a, I'm a phd student on, on studentship at the university of Surrey in the uk okay so these five documents you must have it if not you are just joking one is your cv number one document you should look at is your cv your cv should have all your experiences that you have you've had in the past if your cv is not well drafted and you don't uh it's not well prepared then you are joking like you have not started your cv is the number one thing that you should look at so some people can even use professionals that could help them uh, uh draft their cv but you can also do it yourself just look at some format and just do it that way okay your cv is very important you cannot do without that so that's number one number two number two is your proposal do you have proposals you want to get a phd studentship and you don't have proposal you don't have what what the idea of what you want to research on before i could get a, a phd fund uh, funding or a studentship i had three proposals of things i want to work on okay you should have a proposal okay it's very important so research topics that you will benefit your home country and also benefit country all over the world so you must have a proposal it's very important if you want to win a phd studentship these are things that all the scholarship awarding body will look at okay have a proposal number three is your personal statement you should have a document that is very important that is a very important document your personal statement shows your long-term and short-term goals things you want to do after your phd so many things should be included so it's very very important your, your personal statement is a document you don't want to joke about so it's very important look at that okay the number uh, number four uh, uh document issue 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 have very important is publications do you have a publication that is the question I know that some people will say publication is not important but these are things that so some professors that you are sending mails to want to check okay did, did, did this candidate have a, a publication even if it's one so do all your best if you are a graduate in back in nigeria or 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 you uh, or you have a master's degree back in nigeria try and come up with manuscripts submit it so to, there are so many journals online that you can submit your your your, your manuscripts to there are some free journals too and there are some that you have to pay you have you must have a publication even if it's one so this will give you a, a, an edge okay when applying for a studentship remember that when you're applying for this uh, scholarship or studentship there are a lot of there are millions of students there are, there are thousands of students that is also applying for the same scholarship and they are going to pick the best so having a job a, a, a publication in your name as the first author or even if it's second author or whatever will give you an edge in winning this scholarship so put that at the back of your mind okay and the last uh, uh the last i will merge it together is your passport and your english proficiency uh, uh, test certificate you cannot tell me that you want to apply for a phd studentship and you don't have a, a passport you are joking the first passport that I did back in Nigeria, it expired. I didn't use it at all because I was applying and I was not I was applying for scholarship and I didn't get. But that did not stop me from renewing it. So I renewed it and today I'm in the UK. So your passport is very important. Go and get a passport. It's not expensive. Then your English proficiency. Some schools in the UK will accept WIAC results or accept uh, NECO results. I use my NECO results. Yeah, funny, right? Yeah, I use my NECO result. But if you have the money and you are looking at other countries, you can do your TOEFL, you can do your IELTS, you can do your GRE if you are going to America and other places. So please, get your English proficiency certificate. So these five documents are very important if you really want to win a PhD studentship. And don't joke about it. 
So if you have a first class in Nigeria, or you have a two one, or you have a master's degree, what are you still waiting for? Go ahead and apply. Get this document available, and you have you fly. Okay. I will see you in my next video. Please subscribe to my channel and let's be a community. And if you have a question or a topic you want me to talk about, just drop it in the comment section and I will answer. I will see you in my next video.